How are you feeling about the selection here? I'm feeling really well. I just I'm trying to think. Should we do, I don't want to do American versus like overseas, like a, like a JDM dealio. That's what you do. I feel like yeah, a, I feel like there. I feel like a booyah is like a. Uh, it's just classic American. Only yeah. an American company would name a bait booyah. Yeah, I'm gonna get company. Booyah. Yeah, okay. Okay, I know what I'm doing. So I'm here with the boys behind AP Bassin right now. We're in a really cool local tackle shop in the Chicago suburbs called uh, Lee's Global Tackle. They have a bunch of, I mean, just over here you can see, they specialize in JDM, which just means Japanese domestic markets, just overseas products. Have a bunch of nori stuff here, jackal, all this stuff, a lot of it you cannot get at lo other tackle stores like Bass Pro Shop and stuff. But what Alex and I are doing today, I picked up just one Japanese JDM frog. I'll show you guys a, a bit, a little more when we get over to the lake. But Alex mainly bought like an American Booyah frog. The Booyah frog was $6. Japanese frogs we both got were both $25 for a frog. So we will see how good they perform today. Meanwhile, you're just, oh, that's Steve. Steve. It's Steve. Steve. All right, what do you think? What do you think is going to happen with the Japanese and the frog? Oh, the okay. Japanese is going to kill it. What's Sobe doing? I'm going to use a little, I'm going to rig up both, I think. We're going to both. I'm just, I only got one, so I'm sticking with the Japanese frog. Yeah. If I break that off, then I don't know what I'm going to do. You got to go throw those frogs on some mat. <laughs> All right, don't throw them in open water. <laughs> All right, we're going up to southern Wisconsin. We're in the burbs right now. Got about an hour drive. We will see you at the lake. You're good. Hey, Junior. Hey, anytime. It's not already two o'clock or anything like that. We got all day. All right, so here they are. Let's give you guys some more info on exactly what we bought. So to reiterate, Alex has the American, just the simple booyah frog of six bucks. And then he also has one of these weird looking JDM frogs. But here's mine. Here's what I'm going to be working with. Akashi brand, $25. That's one of the top three lure designers in Japan. Yeah, what did, what did he say about it? Top three lure designers in Japan. So this that's Akashi like his, guy? That's like his low end stuff. This is low end? Yeah, I guess. I wish I knew what any of the stuff in the packaging meant. Everything is in Japanese. So we're idling out. I just tied this bad boy up. First glance, the, the hooks on it are very strained. Doesn't look like the hooks are gonna fall or anything like that, but they're placed so forward on, would you even call this a body? So the size is the same, everything like that, the appendages are, but the hooks are so much farther back on this frog than this frog. I will see, Jesus, Jesus. I'll see if that's, that's kind of the only thing I can see being bad about this frog, is yeah. if they don't take the hooks. We shall see. Wow, this thing takes on a lot of water. There has to be a character name for this anime guy. Got one. Under the dock. First fish. On the anime frog, dude, this is like a river right here, how fast it's going. Yeah. First fish. We gotta do, we have to come up with a better name than just like an anime frog. Perk, you're an anime expert, right? 100%. 100%? Big into anime porn, actually. Oh, nice. First fish on the, on the frog here. I hope this thing doesn't rip apart. What's cool about this frog is it walks like a dream because this is all flat right here. I didn't really notice that at first when I was buying it, but I took two twitches with it and just walked amazing. How's the weight of it? It's pretty heavy. We've been over this. It's like, what do you mean late? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, they love the anime frog. You can't even get rigged up, but I already have two. Well, I'm trying to film a video over here. Like oh, yes, am I. Oh, Black Lips loved it. This is gonna be, okay, so last year, Alex and I filmed a video on this lake. I named it a fish every cast, like incredible frog fishing, something like that. And it's looking like it's gonna be the same. Three casts in a row, dude. A big one. Obviously this frog has zero issues with hookups. Three blow ups, three bites. This is gonna get nutty. Alex, this frog is working way better than I thought, <laughs> dude. Got a bunch of hungry bass in Southern Wisconsin. I very much apologize guys for the, like I said in the last video, the uh, the extra nasally voice. I am still pretty sick. Do one thing about these frogs that I do not like, 
the hook pokes holes in the body so easily. Really? These things are going to get destroyed by the end of today. Especially if they're biting like they have been right here. Oh, I think they'd bite anything good. Oh, missed him. You trying to jack him? He don't like that pink thing you got going on. He don't like it. When you get that back in, let me show my lovely viewers the exact frog you're I don't working think with. So. You got a pink one. Well, oh, you don't think so? I don't think you're going to do that. You want to test the water temp for me? <laughs> That was a good one. I like that joke. Thanks. I live for your approval. Let me see that bad boy. So yours, does it have the same flat face? Yeah. So yours would walk just as well. Pink. Dude, it's like, it's got stitches on it. That is so weird. I know, it's kind of creepy. I shouldn't say weird, it's unique. No, it's kind of weird. <laughs> <laughs> they walk like a dream though. I know. Like, honest to God, better than any frog I've ever used. Yeah. There's both drafts. Really oh, that was a good one. Oh, how big was that? What was that? That was not a bass. Yeah, it was. What? That was like a six pounder. No, it was not. I set the hook like a dumbass. I thought it was like a four or five pounder. I don't know about quite six. You have to keep in mind we're in like less than a foot of water, Dude, so the globe's gonna look bigger. How big that fish was. Catch him again. Wow. Oh. <laughs> wow, that's zero for two on that. Is that the pink one? Sick! Wow. I'm actually really surprised. That was bold by fault, so I'm starting to look like I'm not a smart person. So what am I? Either three for four or four for five on blow-ups, and you're 0 for two? Yeah. This isn't a competition. This is uh, an experiment. Sobe, am I getting the vibe that Alex likes turning things into a competition? Or a bet. Or a bet. He loves that. Find two trailers, want a bet? Someone trying to bet some money? See, it's a pike. pike. It's a pike, dude. I think that last one was a pike, too. Do not break me off. Oh, 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 he's got it choked. <laughs> Get out of here, you... Oh, gosh, pike. There goes 25 bucks. It's I just like eating a mega bass. Be, dude, this frog could be destroyed. Oh, yeah. This frog could be destroyed. Because he choked that thing. Oh, my gosh. That fish, like, that pike did that to it. But that first fish did that to it. Same thing. And All I know is your frog's in rough shape. I think you messed up. Yeah, it was me. It was all sorts of nutty. <laughs> Tell you what's not all sorts of nutty. This spot. Yeah, I was really, really, really confident that we would just crush them because, well, for obvious reasons, how we started off. But last year, we caught probably 40 bass fishing there to here. We yeah. haven't got a single one this time. Adjustments are needed, boys. Adjustments are needed. Lots of adjustments today. Wow, you're already done. <laughs> Maybe it was just because I squeezed the water out. Nope, weight's gone. <laughs> super the, oh no, it's just gone. My frog is, is kind of done. I, I just took a cast and it felt very light. The weight already popped out. So, that's going to be interesting. I can still kind of cast it, but it's just not going to go far. Yeah, it got a lot more wimpy. Well, that's kind of upsetting for being a $25 lure. That seems like it was not secured the best. So we just doctored this up. What exactly did you do here? Um, I, I just put a little beads in it for some weight, and then I put a little butt end of a Senko in there just so it doesn't fill up with water. I feel like that just, I mean, longevity of the frog or the, the cartoon frog, I, I think it'll be okay. Did you get that tip from Al Linder? Uh, ab absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Are we switching spots? Switching spots. Switching spots. Sun's coming out, so I don't know what that's going to do to our frogging conditions, but we'll find out. Do you even know where we're going? Maybe. Maybe. That's all I need to know. Hey, you're the one that's gonna be doing it. Oh! Are you kidding me? How did I miss that? You can't even make it there. That's what's great about that. Oh, I can. Oh no, you didn't. Wow, did anybody see me miss that fish? Wow. I did. Oh my god! Got him! I got him! No, you don't. He came back to me. Oh my gosh! <laughs> and it's a bass. It's not a pike. Oh! Does that count? No. No. It's like inches of water. We have been all aboard the struggle bus. Ooh. What wow. What's going on? Let me clean up your garbage right here quick. You can't make that happen. Oh God, not with that wind. Oh, wow. Just took the rod out of my hand. I was not paying attention. Now I missed one. 
They are up in here. No, I catch them well when you sit down and don't do anything. Sit back down. Oh, you're gonna catch the fish I just missed. Why is there so many right there? That's so weird. This day has been a huge grinder, but when we catch one, like, look at that. Are you serious? <laughs> Why can I catch them? They're coming all the way out of the water for it, too. I can get them just fine. Are you serious? What, dude, there's got to be something with those hooks. I just changed frogs, though. Yeah, but it's that Japanese one that you just seem to miss on every time. I just threw the American one and missed both those. This guy had no problems eating this one. If you get blown up here, I'm going to lose my... Oh, good thing I don't have any casts in distance. Oh. The tinner can, it can handle it. You want me to... Oh, God. Are you serious? <laughs> Are you serious? How many times have you cast it in there? <laughs> So we, we got a little school, <laughs> got a little school in action. I give up, I give up. You ready for me to catch on? Watch this. Watch oh, okay. Well, now I've already caught like three or four out of there. I don't know if there's many left. That's very loud. These hooks mean business. Are you serious? Watch me throw my frog back in there. <laughs> Was that my camera? Oh, what, what a guy. Alex, you better be paying him double time. Just okay. just send the bill to Alex, he'll cover it. All right, another decent one. More importantly, just another good one to catch right in front of Buddy. Alex, what seems to be the problem? Mm -hmm. What seems to be the problem is I suck. Jesus. There goes the Japanese frog. Come on, Buddy, really? How's the damage? Not that bad. I don't even think he punctured a hole. So this is what my anime frog looks like at this point. I think I've caught over 10 fish on it by now, but the weight has long been disappeared. The, the hooks keep popping like in and out of its body every time. Oh, he did slice it pretty good right there. The, the tassel, I don't know, the tail, I don't know exactly what you would call this. That's still holding strong. Would I purchase it again? Probably not. I feel I, like I would. You think you would? Because it skips so nice. I mean, dude, the, when you're waiting, it skips nice. The reason why you're waiting for is you slap the water with it. I think I'd rather have five Spro frogs than two anime frogs. But that's just me. It walks better than any frog I've ever had, I will say that. The plastic is, is a bit soft, but the hookup ratio is great, so maybe that's why they made the plastic soft. I don't know. My hookup ratio is great, but... <laughs> My hookup ratio is off on everything I've <laughs> His hookup ratio is awful. Wow, just just film him real quick. Just his grimace. He just looks flustered. Alex, why are you flustered? Can you please give me some insight here? Nobody wants your thoughts. Um, me. Oh, oh, wants them. everyone wants these Nobody thoughts. Wants them. Um, Chris has done wow. a really nice job wow. today on capitalizing on basically every opportunity he's got. He's caught pike and bass. Where Jordy over here is just. He's mainly caught in just pike, and I think one little bass, if, if you want to call it a bass, is more of a minnow, more of more of a, more of a bait fish. But other than that, I mean, the sun's poking out, clouds are clearing. Um, I think a bite window is about to open up, and uh, it's it's gonna be good. I hear the wood docks are really biting. Right the, now. <laughs> the wood docks are definitely biting right now. What do you think, Jordy? <laughs> He's all like, oh, oh, I think my hooks are bummy. I, I, I poor hookup ratio. He's hooking well, docks I, just fine. Never once have I said that. Honestly, <laughs> never once would I have said that. Why is there a dish? Wait, wait, wait. He Why is there a dish freaking satellite on that guy's dock? Anybody go in? Anybody go in the Check back? this out. You guys, you, you guys have to see this. Hey, Sophie, hit it in reverse. Hit it in reverse. Oh! Five of the boats going to get a lot happier. I will watch. I will. Dish satellite right there. Good story. Dish satellite right there. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We gonna get back to fishing now. Perrick, are you gonna catch one finally? He did say we're gonna be here until sunset if he can't catch him, correct? I'm not giving up. Oh my. <gasps> live action, we got live action. We finally hit one. Oh yeah, bend those knees. Get the fork into it. Oh. That might be one of the bigger ones of the day. That one hit it before it could even, uh, before I could even move the frog, so. 
The pink frog can catch him. The pink frog did just catch one. I've been having a rough day. It's not because of the frog, though. I mean, I just can't seem to get my hook hook down, hook up ratio down. I think I'm gonna go to sleep now. It's now five o'clock, so I don't know if he's got three more hours left in him. We've only been fishing for like three hours. It's not been a long grinder of a day. Jordy, I think we can make a video out of today. I don't want to make a video out of today. The day the parrot and I had were kind of, it's the tale of two cities really. I had a decent amount of frog blow ups and I caught pretty much every one. He had almost the same. He had a decent amount too, yeah. but I think he lost everyone. And uh, it just wasn't Buddy's day today. That's that's kind of it. He was gonna test the American versus the Japanese, but he didn't like that booyah frog very much, did he? Mm -hmm. He stuck with Pinky. I don't know, it was, uh, it was a fun day out here. What time is it? Time check. That was four hours. So really, we didn't really fish for that long. No, we we're didn't. getting off the water because there's a Wednesday night bass tournament out here, and there was, we were fishing this corner, and then just the brigade of bass boats was coming around the corner. There was like six of us that ripped by. That is the weirdest noise I've ever heard. When we saw like five of them go around the corner, we were just all like, "That's the best noise I've ever heard to imitate like engine." <laughs> it's period. time to go home. Just. All right, so we are back at the house of Peric today. Video didn't exactly go how I thought it was going to go. I thought those frogs were going to be very durable. Is that the right word? Yeah. They were not durable. They were not durable. For 25 <laughs> bucks, I thought they were just going to be like, I don't know, a little better than that. Freaking it was still concrete. a really cool video. It was still, we were laughing as we were putting the rods back in our car. I'm like, we we literally fished with anime frogs today. At least it, they were authentic. I mean, like, well, they were very they, authentic, they were authentic, all right. You're never going to find that in a Bass Pro Shop. So, very cool tackle shop. Again, if you live in Chicago suburbs, I think it's it's an Elk Grove, right? I think so, yeah. It was like right near the highway. Lee's Global Tackle, that's where you get all that JDM stuff. It was very cool. Other than that, I don't know. You have anything else to say? You watched the whole day go down. I, it, it was like these guys worked for their fish. So, it was a grinder, but I mean, it was. Successful. I thought the day was going to go so well because I literally caught three bass on my first three casts, like, and then it was just a, a grinder. Again, we only fished for like four hours, but that lake is usually like the, the cream of the crop for southern Wisconsin lakes, and it was not that good today. We didn't even catch anything over two pounds, so. We'll have to go back. Oh, we will. We gotta go back. It'll be better at a later time, I think. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Stay tuned for the next one.